when you were fighting your addiction, uh-huh. you know, I used to watch your stories. You were around all these people. Do you feel like you had too many yes men in your corner at that time? They weren't telling you to put that shit down. Um, no, no, I, I have, I have no yes men around. It was me. It was me. It it was me, brother, because I can support my habit. Hmm. I'm I'm getting all this Chicago kid ain't having shit. You know when we talked about our first interview, ain't having none. Come from nothing to this, I can support my habit. So it's like. Fuck you, nigga. I can what? I can buy this. I can do whatever I want to do, nigga. You ain't doing shit. I'm I'm getting fifty thousand, whatever a show, and I can support my habit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know I lost my mom to breast cancer, right? And you know when you lose people that's close to you, it makes you go that way. But it didn't. I made peace about me or my mom because no more suffering. Ain't no more eight different pills. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at peace with that, brother. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm at peace. Man, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. Like, you know, it used to be viral videos of you super high going around online. Yeah. You know, people were worried about you and concerned about you. But then you had people who would, you know, they would say, oh, Dex fell off. He's done. He's suicidal. Were you ever suicidal at any point? Never in my life, brother. Never in my life. As me being a proud father of three, never in my life suicidal. Never in my life ever made a tweet or anything that people would get an idea of me being suicidal. You know what I'm saying? I just had a, a drug I just had a drug addiction. Yeah. That 80% of people that's successful go through it when did this drug addiction come along because I, I i seen a lot of people in chicago who grew up with you they said you never really did drugs yeah like you you were always quiet laid back this drug again i'm finna i'm, I'm finna piggyback on what we just said this drug addiction started when i started getting all the money when the money started coming in good i can support my habit I'm getting $50,000, 50000 a show. I can, I can support my habit. The plug, pull up, I'm buying you out. Mm. That's what it was. It wasn't because no, no yes man is around me. It wasn't because of none of that. I had people around me were saying, bro, begging me to put that shit down. But I'm like, get, bro, get the fuck out of my face. Or because... I was putting it before my relationship. I was uh, in love with a feeling hmm. instead of being in love with my loved ones. But again, I'm saying it with my chest because I ain't going through it no more. I like that energy. What is, what is your manager saying? What is your what, what were the labels saying at that at that time when you were going through this addiction? At at at, at that time when I was going through my through my addiction, my but my label, they they never they never gave up on me. But it was to the point that they thought I was gonna be dead or you know what I'm saying? It was that that's how bad it was. It's like fuck. Like I had three seizures, brother, going into a, the three hundred office building, picking up a check, had a seizure inside of my 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 entertainment lawyer office. Mm. I died for forty nine seconds, brother. Died. Wow. I died. Lost my life for forty nine seconds, bro. I woke up in the hospital. I didn't know what, what the fuck. Wow. On the worst days. I mean, was it was it perks? Was it? Was it lean? Was it Zan? Zans? Zan. And I mean, I can only imagine you had to do it every day. Yeah. Do you know how much you were spending a day on Zans? Um, I really I, I really want to spend it when you know, you know, when you when you when you're famous, you really don't you know what I'm saying? 
You get it for free. Exactly. But I, I wasn't buying my drugs off the, the street, off the streets or anything. I had like, you know, you know, I'm from Iraq. You know, you, you, you know how that shit go. You know, we had that, that, that one OG that, that going at, you know what I'm saying? That right. one, that old school to get you right. You feel me? So yeah, every, everything was, was prescribed. I, I, I thank God I never did no fucking fentanyl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I'm allergic to alcohol. <laughs> um, but yeah, what's the Zans? The Zans. 